Hey my squidlings, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be demoing and reviewing for you this amazing set of um, My Artscape brushes. And this is a deluxe starter set. So basically what this is, is a set for beginners. And as far as I know, I believe it's around $7 to $8 on Amazon for six brushes. And you get a variety of types. You get an angled brush, a round brush, a filbert, a rake, also known as a wave brush, a liner brush, and a flat or a bright. I'm not sure which. I think this is just a flat. But um, they look very nice in the package. And let me just talk about this packaging for a second. It's adorable. I can't. I always say it every time. I love my Artscapes packaging. And this is not no exception. Um, so anyway, on the back here, it tells you how to get the maximum use out of your My Artscape brushes. Uh, just follow the steps to improve their lifespan and consistency. Do not leave your brushes soaking in water. Do not let your brushes rest on their heads. Do not allow paint to dry on your brushes. And for a complete cleaning, go to myartscape.org slash brush care. So um, basically, I mean, those are some general rules. You don't want to leave your brushes in any of those states because it will ruin them. Um, and then they tell you about the different shapes and uses. Angled uh, is for sharp, defined edges. Bright is for short, controlled strokes. Dagger is thin, teardrop-shaped lines. Fan is creating hair, trees, and shrubbery. Flat is for laying in larger areas. Silver is for blending. Liner is for lettering and painting branches. Round is for detailing. And wave is for creating grass and wood graining. Um, now, just because it says it's for one thing doesn't mean you can't use it for whatever you want. You know, this is just a general list of what they can be used for. And then at the bottom here, they have a guarantee that says, if you're not satisfied for any reason, please give them the opportunity to make it right first, and then you can contact them at their email address. Um, but just looking at these in the package, they're super nice. I really like them. They look to be like golden tacklon brushes. And according to the side that I can see here, it says acrylic watercolor and oil. So these will work for any kind of painting that you would want to do. So now without further ado, let's open them up and actually kind of look at them and touch them and all that stuff. So here they are in all of their glory. Um, so first off, we have a number 10 angled brush. Um, these are short handled brushes and I want to go ahead and tell you guys that it's super stiff They put some sizing on it so it doesn't get you know damaged in packaging and stuff And I think that's really awesome So I will have to wash these before I use them, but this is the number 10 angled brush This is a filbert and it is a number four. This is a number three liner brush a number seven round a number two rake and a number zero flat. All right, so now that the sizing is off of these, um, they're super nice. They feel super sturdy, um, and they have a nice like spring back, like good watercolor brushes should have. Um, and these aren't specifically for watercolors. I am going to be using them in a watercolor illustration, but I mean, you can use them for gouache, oil paints, acrylics, um, watercolor, just basically any kind of painting you wanna do. Um, but I will recommend if you're using these for oil paints and you want to, like, use them with acrylics, don't. I would buy a separate set just because you don't want to mix your, like, acrylic watercolor and gouache brushes with your oil paints. I mix, okay. Personally, since I'm going to be using these for watercolors, I'm only going to be using these for gouache, acrylic, and watercolor. I will not use them for oils because I don't want to ruin my brushes. I have separate sets for my oils just because oils are really, really hard on brushes. So that's just kind of my information to you. So if you do both, um, just kind of get one set of brushes for like water-based media and then get another set of brushes for oil-based media. So unless you have water mixable oils, then you can mix those with your acrylics and all that stuff. So anyway, like I said, they have nice spring back, and they claim to have premium filament, which delivers more paint, um, and you can get, like, longer strokes, and we're definitely going to test that out. I want to see how it compares to a cheaper brand that I have, um, just kind of sitting around. One thing I like about these as well is that they offer a full one-year warranty, so if anything goes wrong and stuff, you can contact them, and I'm, like, 90% sure if it's, like, their fault or something that needs to be replaced, they will fix it for you. These handles are 5.7 inches long so they definitely are short handled brushes uh, long handled brushes are about double that size it feels like um, but like I said I really love the look of these they look very professional they definitely feel very nice and sturdy so 
Um, one thing I'm going to be checking for also is the fact that they say that these are anti-shedding, and since they are cheaper than, you know, their other sets, I'm going to be testing that out, as well as seeing, you know, how long the paint flow actually lasts, because it's supposed to be, you know, longer lasting with the paint. And it also says that it will never peel when soaked in water. Now, I'm going to test that. I'm not going to idiotically just leave my brushes in water because that's not good for any kind of brush. I don't care if you paid $100 for the brush, you still should not do that. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of test it with just regular, normal use and see where we're at and by the end of, you know, the illustration and I'll kind of, you know, talk to you about how these worked and stuff like that in the illustration. I want to go ahead and tell you guys that these were sent to me free for review. Um, I'm not being paid or sponsored to make this video or anything. They were just super kind enough to let little old me, you know, review their stuff. And that makes me really happy and I, I'm very honored. So thank you, my Artscape, for thinking of me. I suppose we should just get on to the illustration because uh, I'm out of things to talk about at the moment. I haven't used them yet, so I don't really know what else I can tell you. So let's get into the illustration and I'll talk to you more about my experience using them, pros, cons, things I like, things I don't like, and our rating system if I don't forget. And if I do forget, it'll be in the description, I promise. <laughs> so I hope to see you over there. So I'm going to jump right into the review part of this. So I want to say that I loved using these. For a beginner set of brushes, like literally, these are probably the best value you can get out of seven bucks, okay? I was kind of comparing them to um, similar brushes that I have that I bought from Jerry's a long time ago. I bought them like a dime a dozen. Not literally, but it, they were pretty cheap. And they're definitely, the My Artscape brushes are definitely better quality. They have a better spring. The bristles feel a lot more sturdy inside the ferrule, if that makes any sense. Um, I don't feel like they're going to be fraying out anytime soon. Um, let's see. They The handles feel really nice, and I don't think they're wood. And if they are wood, they're coated in a way that I had no problems with, like, peeling and stuff like that. I mean, like I said earlier in the video, don't leave your brushes in water for extended periods of time, but for a little bit it's okay, and I had no problems with just normal use. Um, let's see, the ferrule feels... It does feel a little cheaper than, say, their short-handled brushes that I have previously reviewed, um, but their bristles do not feel cheaper. They feel just as good quality, um, definitely better quality than a cheaper brush that I bought from a different brand. Now, the cheaper brush that I am demoing, or that I'm comparing it against, is not like the cheapest brushes you can buy from like Walmart. They are pretty decent quality, but the Myertscape brushes definitely are better. I love the design of the handle. I think it's adorable, and it's very simplistic, and that is what I like, and it has, you know, their name on it, what type the brush is, and the one I'm looking at right now is this angle, and then it's the number. I don't know. I really enjoy these brushes. For a beginner, I think that these are a great value. Um, honestly, I wish they had these brushes back when I was a beginner. Now, I don't think I'm a professional or anything, but I've definitely been doing this for a little bit of time now and I have moved on to better brushes and stuff, but I am glad that I have them now, I suppose. I'm just kind of sad that I didn't have them when I was first starting out. That definitely would have helped my art a little bit. Now, I am also going to, it is not the materials that makes the artist, so if you're really bad at art and you get brushes that are really good, that doesn't mean your art's gonna be magical. It just means that, you know, your brush is gonna help you and it's not gonna fight against you and you'll have a less hard time than, you know, if you were to use the cheapest of the cheap. With that said, um, I wanna talk about that it said it had more filament, so the paint lasted longer. Um, I felt like the paint lasted just as long as their other brushes, which means a lot longer than my cheaper brushes. I feel like I get more paint from them, and maybe it's just a psychological thing, but I really do feel like, especially with watercolors, I feel like these hold a lot more water than your average brush. Maybe that's just the thing that I noticed. I don't know. I really believe that, though. Um, and I did watercolor this piece that you're watching. This is my character, Raisha, and I'm doing this piece in watercolor crayons, but uh, these did hold a lot of water. I was really happy with that. Um, definitely happy with how the brushes like, laid down water and stuff like that. Um, it was just, I wasn't fighting against the brush, and that was my main concern. Um, I love the softness of these brushes. They're super soft, and I feel like, you know, whatever kind of painting you feel like you want to do, whether it be acrylic, gouache, watercolor, 
tempura painting, oil painting, face painting even, I mean, these will work. And I'm not trying to sell it to you, like, just because I got a free thing and I want to sell everybody this thing. I really feel like, though, if you are a beginner and you need good brushes, these are seven bucks and you get six brushes, you get a really big assortment, and they're really nice. Like, they're really nice. Definitely better than the stuff you can get for a buck at Walmart. Now, I know it's only a buck at Walmart, but, you know, I mean, you get what you pay for most of the time. And My Artscape's a really good brand that they sell things at a lower price, but you get, you know, really good products. I have never had any complaints about products other than just, like, I wish they had a certain color in their paint range, and that's not even really a complaint. Also, I want to add that I had no problems with shedding. Um, there were, there was no shedding. And if you do see me pick anything off this painting, it's because I have cats. And, uh, they have hair. Long hair, so... Yeah, but there were no shedding with these brushes. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, to talk about the picture, I am painting my character Raisha, as I said earlier. And I, I realized that I really don't color her or draw her very often anymore, but she's, like, special in my heart and stuff like that. Uh, and I wanted to play with my watercolor crayons some more because I loved using those. They are super duper fun to use. They, they're just, they're easy. They really are. They're definitely easier than, you know, watercolor itself, especially if you're intimidated by that. But I'm not trying to sell you those, so I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, so I suppose that's really all I have to say. Um, rating, um, compared to the other brushes that I own from them, they're not as good, and I say that because, I don't know, I just, I prefer the larger brush sizes. So I would probably rate this an 8.5. It's a pretty solid 8.5 out of 10. I don't know. I really like these brushes. I mean, I'm pretty sure so they could sell it to you cheaper. They probably, you know, found some things that were just as good but maybe a little less expensive to produce. And I feel like the ferrule is a little cheaper made, but I mean, that's no problem. I don't think it's going to break or anything. And they feel really nice in the hand and the bristles are really soft and stuff. And I'm, I'm really happy with them. I'm ecstatic. I have no complaints at all. Um, I really, I think I don't have any complaints. So I really hope you found this video informational and maybe it helped you pick out some brushes if you needed brushes or something. I don't know. But I really hope it did help you. And if it did, hit like this video. Um, don't forget to join our cute little squid army as well if you haven't already. And thank you again, my Artscape. You guys are super awesome. And until next time, guys, toodaloo!